Where is your head at now? Obviously, me and Jessica getting on well, but like, I'm not, I don't really feel anyone else in here, but obviously you, you're both attractive girls. You're both like, got good convo, so it's sort of that. Who do I want to chat to more, really? Yeah, I got to play it cool a little bit, I think. I'm playing it cool, kissing my face off. You wasn't playing it cool, kissing my face off. Changes right. don't count. We Great. Might... Are they just like practice runs? They're just practice for the right. real for the real thing. When I take you off on that terrace. Well, guys, it looks like Jess is going to be the one that gets our heart broken in tonight's episode, as Sammy seems to have himself fixated on Leah. The hand movements and the looking up and down, like, is he trying to wire me up? Now, it's obvious Jess has been getting frustrated with him because she made her feelings known last night. I'm going to pull in straight for a chat and just say, look, I just feel like you're not reciprocating to me. I don't know why you had that. Can you just tell me? And then later on in the game, adding insult to injury, we had this moment. Snog the two islanders you think fancy you the most. <laughs> Sammy's kiss was so intense. At the end of it, the eye contact, I was a bit like, Oh, you've just really surprised me, Dan. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that one. Because let's be honest, that kiss that Sammy did with Leah seemed to go on a bit longer than the one he gave Jess. And then we also had this bit. Which three islanders would make up your perfect partner? Choose one for the face, one for the body, one for the personality. Oh, that's put me in a sticky situation. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Face we got Leah. Body, we got Ella, and personality, we got Jess. That's what's inside that counts, Jess. Exactly. No one's got a better personality than Jess. It's obvious she's a pretty girl, so I didn't really need to tell her that. And Sammy makes a classic error that a lot of men make there and says, you know, I told her she had a great personality, you know, that's kind of the best compliment because, you know, we know she's pretty, she knows she's pretty. And uh, I think he'll have to discover rather painfully that, certainly in my experience, most women like to be told they're attractive. More than once. Often. Sometimes more than often. This of course puts Jess in a vulnerable position because if Sammy then starts to have feelings for Leah and couples up with Leah, who I don't think will probably end up coupling up with Tyreek because I think she's got his number and has worked him out, then of course that leaves Jess with no one. Yes, Jess is a bit of a gossip. She's a bit of a fire starter, but goodness me, she certainly has provided some fun and I don't want to lose her from the show just yet. I think she deserves to stay. But in many ways, I also feel a bit sorry for her because I feel like Jess seems to come across as the kind of girl that the guys want to be friends with, but they don't necessarily want to have as a girlfriend. And I think she's cottoning on to that and she's probably getting a bit upset and who can blame her? So maybe the new bombshell arriving tonight will change that. I gather there is another one arriving tonight, another guy. So maybe he'll latch on to Jess. I don't know. But yeah. Not yet, Jess, come on. We don't want to lose you yet, Jess. Do something that makes sure you have to stay. I don't know. Push Zach into the swimming pool. Hold him under for a long time. I probably shouldn't say that, should I? I mean, not too long, because obviously that'd be serious, and uh, we don't want that kind of thing on Love Island. Oh, and I'll leave you with Andre and Catherine. I'm now going to choose my star player. How can someone be so sexy? 